Guys, they said that Nikawo's joy knows no bound, as only of Ife and uh, Queen Naomi storms his school for their graduation. You know that uh, sometime last week or so, we heard that when KBAC storms Akure to spend time with Tade Nikawo and Queen Naomi as usual, that is what KBAC is always doing, especially on Sundays like this. They said Tade started lamenting bitterly to his father, asking the father why is it that uh, he doesn't have time for him, that uh, he can't even come for their PTA meeting, that everything that is happening in their school, that uh, is only mommy that is coming. Why? Is it that he does not love him on what? That uh, he wants the KBAC to please do him the favor of attending uh, his graduation. You know that they said he will be graduating from Brinoisry to Noisry 1. And he is a brilliant child. According to what we are hearing, they said he is the overall best among all the pre nursery pupils in his school. And it is something that worth celebration because when you celebrate him now, he will do better in the next section. So they said he pleaded with the father to please do him the favor of being present on uh, in his school on that particular day. And information have it that Kabi systems the school. And it was surprising to all the school management, the school, they, everyone was surprised. They were all shocked. And Tade's happiness, eh, they say he is very, very happy. As in he keeps smiling and dancing all through the process of what goes on. You know that Kabeci cannot stay that long. But the moment he stayed there, they say Tade Nika was just smiling, happy, you know, running from mommy to daddy, as in, hey, hey. You know, the joy eh, is not here. That happiness of seeing your mommy and your daddy come for you, it simply means that you are loved, you are cherished. And one thing about children is that if you are attending their occasion, they will cherish it. They will love it. They will never forget it in a hurry. But when uh, maybe something happened in their school, maybe it is PTA it is a parents' teacher's day. It is a, any of anything that happened in their school and their parents did not come. Ha, ah, you see them. They will be quiet. Their mood will change. They will feel abandoned. They will feel like, hey, this my friend's uh, mommy and daddy came, but my own mommy and daddy did not come. And they will be feeling bad. As a matter of fact, uh, there was a time I missed my son's uh, uh, PTA meeting. I called the school to let them know that I will not be present due to busy schedule and all of that. But up till now, he will still remind me of it. Mommy, do not come that. But I told you now, daddy would have come, but something happened. As in, this is just to tell you. And this is just once, so I just missed it once. Okay, think of those that from year to year, they will not come. Ah, the children will be very, they will be feeling very bad. And this is what KBAC have been doing to Tade Nikawo, and that is what Tade Nikawo has been complaining, saying that it has been Queen Naomi, it has been my mommy all this while. Everything, mommy will be there, daddy will not be there. Sometimes my, my classmates, my friends will be saying that their mommy and daddy are living together. My mommy and my daddy is not living together. My mommy and my daddy is coming to school together. And you know all of that. So they said he complained bitterly, but I am happy to hear that KBAC honored his invitation because he officially invited his father to his uh, graduation party and he did it earlier so that KBSC would know how busy his schedule is. But I think on Sundays like this that uh, KBSC's schedule is always uh, lesser, you know. So because that's the day that he normally go to spend time with his family, which is with Naomi and uh, Tade Nikawo. So when I hear that he finally attend, I was very, very happy. I'm sure the school too, they were all happy and they are going to gain something because when KBSC come and when he did not come can never be the same. <laughs> when he visited by himself can never be the same when he sent delegates. Yes, so the Saturday was happy. Even Kwenomi too was just smiling, happy. You know that one thing uh, is that when it was just Queen Naomi and Tade Nikawo and uh, Uni of Ife, it was a very lovely and peaceful family. 
Yes, very lovely family that every one of us is wishing to be in their shoes. Uh, we want to be, hey, I just wish it's me and all of that. But right now, are you wishing to be... <laughs> are you wishing to be Iggy or Ashley right now? Because the situation has changed. Things are no longer the way it used to be. It is no longer a wish. <laughs> that is because there is no happiness again. We are not seeing anything that is enticing us to wish that uh, we are in their shoes. So, they said... Kunomi have lament. If you watch, there was a time uh, she granted an interview. She said a lovely family that she built and all of that. But all of a sudden, anyways, one thing I do know is that God is going to fix this marriage. It is going to go back to what it used to be. God knows how to do it, and I know He will do it. See all these end time allures. They are going to leave that marriage the same way they entered it because. We all know that they have been trying everything within their power to turn Kabiesi's mind and heart against his own son and uh, Queen Naomi. They have done it severally, but God of Queen Naomi is not letting them win. And that is why you keep, hear keep hearing that upon all their efforts, all the money they spend doing their jazz and their juju, at the end of the day, the juju will fail them. At the end of the day, they will be exposed. At the end of the day, they will spend money for nothing. <laughs> and the funny part of it is that tomorrow again, they will start again. They will start a new one. They want to go and uh, discover a new babalao that they will try out with again. At the end of the day, that person will always fail and they will go back. to These people, uh, they know they're tired. Their story know they finish. He know they finish. Oh. I am happy that right now, Tade Nikawo can boast that uh, my father... My father have attended my school program, you know, and all of that. Because, you know, children, hmm, it's better that KBC attend, though, because if not, he will go and register it. And you think he doesn't know what he is doing. He is small, but his brain is not small. At this stage, ah, anything you do to them, they will, they will keep it in their memory. A time will come when they will tell you that on so so time you did this, you did that, and you'll be surprised because you too you might even have forgotten. But they don't forget to see these children, they know they forget anything. They will always register it there. You know? But I'm happy that at least KBS is trying out is trying to make out time to be with his son. So that the, the child will not be feeling like uh, daddy is not always there and all of that. And I believe that Quinomi too is also making him understand that. Daddy is a king, he is always busy, but at least he's making out to be with us. He loves us, and God is going to bring us back together one day. Anyway, guys, like I will always remind you, these are all alleged information, okay? Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share my video. I love you guys. Bye, see you.